Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on determining an unknown power. Now we've looked at what happens when you have a fractional or negative power, but in these questions it's this index here that's unknown. And all we need to do is just to kind of think backwards. If 2 to the power of something is equal to an eighth, what power of 2 would give you that eighth? Now we know that if we have 1 over something after we've done a power of something, that's because that power was negative. So we know that x is going to be negative. And then, well, 2 to the power of what is 8? Well, it's 3. So the answer must be minus 3. So let's just test that. If we had 2 to the power of minus 3, if x was minus 3, well, that would be 1 over, because it's a negative power, 2 cubed, and 2 cubed is 8, so we'd have 1 over 8. And if you're not familiar with this idea of fractional and negative powers, then please watch those videos on that first. But that is the answer, x is negative 3. What about this one? If 9 to the y is 3, well, can you see that 9 seems to have been square rooted to get to 3? Well, what power causes you to square root the number? Well, it's a power of half. So y is equal to a half is the answer. And let's just test that. If we had 9 to the power of half, that would be the square root of 9, which is 3. So that is the right answer. And this final one, if 25 to the z is equal to 1 over 5, what is z? Well, we've got a fractional and a negative power this time. Can we see that we've done 1 over it, so z must be negative? And the 25 seems to be square rooted to have got that 5. And that's caused by a power of a half, because anything to the power of half square roots it. So the z here, the unknown power, is minus half. So let's just test that. If we've got 25 to the minus half, z is minus half, well, the negative power causes you to do 1 over it, so 1 over 25 to the half without the negative there anymore. And then 25 to the half just means the square root of 25, which is 1 over 5. And that's what we have. So we do have the correct answer here.